Nah, not enough. <laughs> Gotta make this. V. In Luxor Heights, there's a. Let's call it a sports cafe. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while taxes allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. Your hand's Merc, right? How much you know about the job? Not much. Hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's the sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. Name's Victor Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victor Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? What's the sports academy doing in Dogtown? Ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no one gives a shit. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. Cover story's a little thin. Ought to flesh it out, don't you think? No need. It's your way in, nothing more. Beyond that, avoid any talk about yourself. Just blend in, get the data, and get out. Hans is a tax collector now. Yeah, I ain't buying it. How about shitload of Eddie's collector? Sound more believable? Job isn't glamorous, but it pays. All clear. Great. Quick scan, and you're good to go. After you, Victor Wilson. <laughs> so he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Mr. Wilson, if you'll join me, please. Uh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. Who's using these bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is used by scouts such as yourself remotely from Asia, Europe, Africa. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Be 
magazine athletes feel the kids. Kids way too young for this kind of crow. See that, Johnny? Hard Ladies and fucks. gentlemen, the next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie McCannon. Katie is a young but extremely talented. See a free spot on the other side with your name on it. Be right with you, sir. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, is Kelvin Golden Strickland. Kelvin is a died in the wool fighter with an instant. These uh, showcases happen often. Of his bouts and Only when Dr. Vargas thinks an athlete's worth showing off, which is pretty often. Dr. Fiona ever make an appearance at these things? Nah, she's not really the type to mingle. The first sitting cooped up in her office downstairs. Can I get a double shot of sense on tequila? There you go. First time I take it. Which team are you scouting for? In just a moment, you'll see another one. I'm with the San Diego Shredders, scouting for a wide receiver. You say the Shredders? Small world. I'm Caden. Worked with Tomas two seasons back. Vic Wilson. And another. Wait, but shopping for another wideout after re-signing your franchise stats leader? Man's an all-time deep threat. Uh, uh, what's his name? And another. Player that good. Wouldn't forget the name. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> no, but, uh, seriously, uh, What's his name? Won't believe it, but uh, it slipped my mind too. Ah, and uh, another. you don't say. Hey, uh, you wouldn't remember Tom's last name, would you? Why do I feel like I'm being questioned here? Right. Hey, Bill. I'm on it. Mike, need you here. Step. Another. Need some extra verification. Follow me, please, sir. What if I don't feel like it? It ain't up for debate. Got a pat down on the way in. I'm with the San Diego Shredders. So you'll get another one. I don't make the rules, sir. Before. Was out of respect. Gave you space to, you know, express yourself. Hold your arm out here. I'll transmit a request to Central. Make sure everything's in order. looking good. He wants to be dead! Come on! Not here to cut him!
What's your name? Tommy. How'd you get in here? They let you out of your room? Well, I know a few tricks. My dad's a techie. He taught me a ton of stuff. Hi, Tommy. My name's V. What you doing here? Uh, nothing. I'm just kind of here. In the director's office? Come on. I know you were looking for something. Yeah, sort of wanted to see if I got picked for a team. But still no one. It's not fair. I've got all the right skills. The right chrome. I'm super duper fast. Your day will come. Just... It takes time, that's all. It's just, well, I'm getting old. <laughs> you, old. Soon no one will want me, not even the worst teams. Dad said I can't screw up because we live in Dogtown and career in sports is our last chance. Tough having that responsibility. But if it wasn't for your family, what would you want? Uh, have some fun, I guess. Or take a vacation. <laughs> That'd be neat. You're a good kid, Tommy. Know that? I know. Hey, chin up, kiddo. It'll all work out. You'll see. Say, little whiz like you wouldn't know where Fiona's terminal is, would you? Need it for a sec. It's right there. Can't you see? Well, would you look at that? Silly old me. See? I know everything. Yeah. Clever little rascal. Now buck up and get out of here. Or Miss Fiona sees you. Yes, sir. I just need to find uh, th th that thing. out of this, please. It's okay, Tommy. Don't gotta stay. Fiona and I need to talk grown-up stuff. Right? Uh, that's right. Now run along, kiddo. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? Password to the terminal and the data of every suit you've done biz with. Transactions, contracts, agreements. Whole enchilada. Uh, what do you intend to do with it? Got it backwards. I'm the one asking questions. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. 
Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. Start talking, and it better make sense. Thank you. Come, let me show you something. See this? Posters and trophies? That's supposed to convince me. Mark Elway, 22 years old, exceptional basketball player. Monica Diaz, 25, ranked top 15 worldwide in tennis. And our brightest star, Al Ford, the NUSA's heavyweight champion at only 21 years old. Guessing I'm about to hear this is all cause of you. I helped them, me, and if you leak my clients, this center will go under and these kids' bright future darken quick. Including Tommy. His file's right here. You help me, you help him. It's a kind of cynicism that deserves a medal. Cheap plastic kind. You're using Tommy as a bargaining chip? We all have choices to make. Here's my offer. We do a controlled leak. I'll hand over the data of a few clients of secondary importance to me. Your employer wants names, transaction details. They'll get them. Everyone walks away happy. Those kids who end up on the street with post-op implant sickness. You don't think they hang their picks here too, do you? What are Tommy's chances of scoring a contract? Close to none. Out of the best players, only 15 to 20% get signed. Tommy will probably be going home. Without any scratch to maintain his chrome, regulate his organs, and keep his body functioning properly. That's how these things go. You either win big or go home. But maybe you can still help Tommy. His file doesn't have to stay on my desk. Why go to all this trouble? Well, if you really want to know, it's cheaper. Not because you're chipping kids that are too young for it? Ha! <laughs> you think we're the only ones? Name me one professional athlete without implants. You can't. The earlier you start, the better long term. Sports would be a snooze fest without them. How much you making off these poor kids and their parents? Unlike your, uh, profession, I provide chances for a better life. Not for free, granted. But the parents know the risks. It's in their contracts. Knowing and understanding, two different things. Go to Night City. Look at all those kids walking the streets alone. Can you claim they're better off than our future athletes? You're a real good Samaritan, huh? I'll Let's accept your offer, professional. long as you make sure Tommy gets a contract. A good one. Done. You take part of the data and Tommy gets into some local European league. Won't be stardom, but it's still a dream come true. Hands are dirty enough. Thanks. <sighs> data transferred. Let's not make this any longer than it needs to Place be, shall burn we? burn with her inside it.
Thanks to you, our Europeans can make sure tax evaders don't go unpunished. You knew there were chipping kids there. Why so dramatic? It's an open secret by now. Everyone knows what goes on there. Few care. If I've offended your sense of moral decency, I do apologize. Contract closed. Until the next time, V. Come. Now you overestimate my knowledge, V. You'll have to ascertain that for yourself. Best of luck. Welcome, welcome. I'm Steven Santos of the Brazilian Intelligence Agency. Yes, we got those Name's processors v. tracked no down. No affiliation. How is that so? Mm -hmm. Just a We're moment, let's scan your details. Mm, can't wait to see what you dig up. Hold still, please. Heywood. That explains your colorful CV. Theft, assault, robbery. Ah, the usual checklist. Small wonder we're meeting you here, no? What? All this tech and nothing on Compeki Plaza? Hmm, oh, encrypted. Access denied. Wait, level 4 clearance required? Who are you, really? Hmm? We'll take him. Anna! The signal could die any minute. We don't have time to be picky. Take a look at the screen, V. Ah, so you're the one in charge. Care to give me the deets now? You love prodding the hornet's nest, no? Good, so do we. This is Mark Benna, 37 years old, worked at the agency for 12, six feet tall, brown hair, well built. Combat trained. Banna went MIA in Dogtown six months ago. He sent one last call for help right before he vanished. Listen. <coughs> I'm here. To... Uh, fuck. They're coming for. Uh, send you back up. Please. Please. His bio monitor began pinging a few days ago. 
The signal is coming from Dogtown. Seems mobile. Any questions? You're a big orc. Got plenty of agents. Don't think you need my help here. We are, and we do. But our hands are tied. We'd risk an international incident sending Spec Ops in. Look, this Banner guy. The recording's clear as day. Chum's gone. Why go after him now? What if he's not? No, we've got to check that signal. We owe him that much. Look, clearly your agency didn't greenlight this. Why are you still following through? Ah, I see Hans checked us out. Slimy Hands bastard. Hands up, bro. It's true. We're acting alone. Would you like to know why? When Benna went missing, the agency declared him KIA. His body has never been found. Then his signal returned. What did the agency say? Insufficient evidence. Our algorithms place his chances of survival at 4%. Fuck the algorithms. Principle, integrity, naivete. Call it what you will. They don't care. We do. Why is Banner so important to you? For one, we owe our careers to him. Banner introduced us to the agency. Oh well, some matters are so unjust you can't just sit and pretend them away. Only two things matter here. First, Ben is our dear friend. Second, we hired him to check on his signal. Is that clear? We'll handle the eventual fallout. Why not trace the SIG yourselves, the two of you? We are analysts. No clearance, no experience in field work. Albana's signal is currently coming from Organitopia. The old Natural History Museum in Terra Cognita. One problem is, the scavengers are flocking to the signal like flies. And wait, there's another. The gang's with Boris Rybakov, an ex fatnaz operative. That bastard killed enough people to fill a cemetery. Rybakov, anything I ought to know before I give him a warm Night City greeting? He's an elite sharpshooter, 167 confirmed kills. His cyberware includes ocular implants linked to his weapons enhanced targeting system. Reaction accelerators, adrenaline pumps. And you can add to that some experimental Soviet tech. It seems he is able to hack his enemy's ocular wear. How'd the scavs trace the signal? We have no idea. So scavs, ex Spetsnaz, Bioman has been dead for the past six months? Oof. We don't like it any more than you. Okay, all clear. Guess I'll get to it. I'm sending you the cords. Anna will call once you lock in on the signal. Find Banner, please. Or at least that damned Bion monitor. See what I can do.
That you? Still breathing? Later. I'm hurt. And no scars. Uh, 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 I'll explain once they're gone. Copy. Where you at? Go to the main museum hall. I'll lead you from there.
Miracle is finished. I'm waiting for you upstairs. Approaching Bennett's signal. I think the man's there too. Alive. What? Okay. I'll keep this channel open. Over. Please. Please be calm. And let me to explain. Better explain why you're using Bannon's voice. It's a voice changer implant. I had to be sure you'd come to help. Katya Karelina. Sav Oil. Formally. I need your agency's help. You're on comms with your people, yes? They hear you. Banner, where is he? That is no longer relevant. Banner is dead. Great. Now tell me how you know. Listen to me. I fell out of favor at Savoyle. Now they're hunting me. Savoyle does not simply give up the hunt. Doesn't answer my question. I ran her scans, B. She's a data acquisition specialist. An interrogator. Another agent, right? A specialist. Interrogation. Got the feeling you and Bannon cross paths. All right. We caught Banner in Dogtown. At first, we didn't know who he worked for. That became clear during questioning. I kept him alive, gave him treatment. But then later, it wasn't me. She's lying, V. New orders. Kill her like the beach dog she is and take the biomonitor. Over and out. Anna? Anna? Your people, what did they say? Brazil wants you dead. Guess who's gotta pull the trigger? What, what, what do we talk for? I have valuable data for you and your people. Let's be professional, yes? Look, they're not my people. Banner's besties hired me to find him or his biomon. That's it. No, 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 wait. You're a merc, yes? I was doing my job just like you. You understand? I have a proposition. Please, hear me out. I'm listening. Go. I have Banner's biomonitor. You are reasonable, so I give it to you. There's also a stash in Dogtown with my gear. I give you coordinates, okay? There a catch? No catch. You let me go, that is all. What do you care about some banner? Deal. Flip me the cords. Sending now. And you? Better Delta. Yes. Yes. Спасибо. Leave me be, please.
says he already replaced me. Anna, we've got to scrap the biomonitor. You know that. No! I won't look the other way, Steve. Not this time. Please. What's going on? The Brazilian government's holding a summit in Rio as we speak. With Savoy. Do you know what that means? Ignore him. Just pass me the biomonitor. Their business is none of yours. No, no, hold up. Steven, these Brazil Savoil talks, what do they got to do with Banner's death? The agency ignored the signal. They knew Savoil killed Banner, but never wanted it confirmed. Not officially. That would have been far too... inconvenient. Think about it. Revealing Savoil's actions would bring any business to a halt. Not to mention we'd upset some very powerful players. Fuck the agency! Pena was murdered, and all the greedy cowards do is sweep it under the rug for what? For some edits to line their pockets? Anna, honestly, what's your plan for the biodata? I plan to scream to the media and the entire agency. They can silence us all. Pena deserved better. Anna, we have to destroy the monitor. Banner already lost his life. Do you want to lose yours too? Girl's fine, Steven. Don't worry. I'll take the blame. You can keep your life. Who knows? You might even get a promotion. Anna, please. Don't be reckless. V, pass me the biomonitor. It's time to piss off some suits. Pains me to say it, but Steven's right. Too much risk to go around. No! I won't let it go. This isn't over. You cowards. Thank you, V. Your cred is on its way. Yeah, thanks. That's settled. The tale took a few twists and turns, wouldn't you say? Sure would. Nevertheless, I applaud your good sense. One thinks with the brain, not the heart. Your transfer is en route. Your job complete.
Hey, V. Recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure. See you there. How'd someone like you end up here? My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Gape Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb, or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Your programming sounds... ancient. What can I get you? Stakes are the classic copy and paste of ID matching bioscans, behaviorals, all bases covered. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, like Medellin or Night City a few years later. Let me see. Global arms trade? Check. Personality theft? Check. Oh, and gross overconfidence? Big check. Thought you didn't believe in coincidences. Alex. Gave her free reign back then, too. That's not exactly the same. Not an adequate comparison. You know I'm right. Ah, uh, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Op not sitting well with you, Alex. Reminds me of a few other stitches we handled. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury. It was kind of his M.O. So what happened? 
Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Worked out though, right? We're all here, now, together. Hmm, which can't be said for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just her. That goes for you, too. Right. Our objective. To free show me from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue route. Because, well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall, a consequence of her service to the NUS and present minds. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech whys and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Answer to me with the net runners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hansen hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals, we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Emmerich and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand? Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NT. An exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it. Before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. 
Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hanson. Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hanson's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hanson. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons, aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to D.C. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hanson up on a silver platter, and will be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. You know Reed better than I do, what he thinks. What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lends neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agencies got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So, breach the station, trace the car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. 
When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. 